Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is making a battery pack for my e-bike using scavenged cells. So let's go take a look at them. These cells are actually scavenged from an old lighting system, which I think is really cool. So these are nickel metal hydride batteries, which means they are rechargeable, which is going to be perfect for the application that I want to use them for. So I separated these into two packs, uh, four cells each pack, and these are going to be connected in series, which means I should get around 14.4 volts to 4 amp hours per pack. And once we've done that, we're going to connect these together in parallel, and we should get around 14.4 volts to 8 amp hours, which would be plenty enough to run my motor for the distance that I want to, you know, uh, to and from work and maybe down to the shop before I have to recharge it. Right, so let's go talk about that a little bit. So let's talk about these batteries. So there's two basic parameters which define a battery, which are amps and volts. So there's three of us sitting on a piece of flat land with a rock in between us. As a three-year-old, there's me and there's a bodybuilder. The three-year-old goes to give the rock a push and it doesn't move it, which isn't surprising. Then I go to give it a push with all my might and I start to get it going with a lot of effort. Then the bodybuilder comes and gives the rock a push, and he gets it going really easily, but he breaks the rock. And that's what I mean in terms of voltage is the amount of push to give something. And this is a great analogy to use when we're talking about motors and batteries. So let's talk about amps, and that means the amount of energy. So how much energy is in this battery? Well, we know it's about four amp hours, but if we have a bigger battery, you're gonna have more energy. And if you have a smaller battery, you're gonna have less energy. So we can think about this in terms of football. You wake up in the morning, you don't have any breakfast, and you go to a football game. You're gonna run out of steam in about five minutes. But if you wake up and you have a nice big breakfast, you're gonna last the whole game. And that's what I mean when I'm talking about amps. Right, so let's go build the battery pack. So the eight batteries are connected into two packs which are connected in series. So it goes positive, negative, positive, negative. And it's the same thing over here. And how I've connected these is I've just spot welded them. And that should do a job really nicely. Right, so let's connect this up to a multimeter and look at the voltages. Right, so I've got the battery pack set up right here. And all I've done is connect it into parallel. So what we're going to do is check how much voltage is actually on this. So let's take a look. Wow, 16.9 volts. So it was in the range of what we wanted it to be. So I thought it was going to be anywhere between 12 to 16 volts. And we're actually nearly pushing 17, which is actually kind of cool. Right, so let's see if we can get the motor to spin on this battery pack. So I've got these batteries connected up to my motor driver, including the speed controller, which is my throttle. So I had to take the handlebars off the scooter, which is okay. And then we've obviously got our motor right here. And I just want to make sure to see if this battery pack will run this motor. So let's give it a go. <laughs> and of course it will, it works really well. So I'm pretty sure these batteries still have to be charged up. Um, so I'm gonna go off and do that and then we can try this out again. Isn't that cool? <coughs> so I've got my battery pack on charge and it's charging up really nicely and it performed incredibly well for the application that I want to use it for, especially running that motor. So you're going to see this battery pack get installed onto my scooter in the next episode of my DIY uh, scooter from a kid's bike, which is going to be really cool, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Anyway guys, this brings me to the end of the video, so I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you later.